Okay, everyone here in the Secured Entrepreneur community, we all know that this is not the time to be without some form of a lucrative business. This pandemic and the way the world is going right now, the way society is going, the way the economy is going, it is most advantageous to have an extremely lucrative business, okay? Remember that the Secured Entrepreneurs are on the right side of the cash flow quadrant. And today, we're going to answer Cherie's question about starting a business with bad credit. Come on now, you already know that I am Aurora Day, and this is the Secured Entrepreneur Movement. Okay, Cherie and her husband have been married for 11 years. Cherie has always been the entrepreneur in the relationship. The thing is that she's been the entrepreneur on the left side of the cash flow quadrant, meaning she's been the employee, self-employed type entrepreneur, paying the most tax, living the 1040 lifestyle. She now wants to come over to the right side of the cash flow quadrant, meaning she wants to be a business owner. She wants to be an investor where we're paying 20% or less tax zero tax for the investor for the you know for the most part okay the issue really comes in in that she marries her husband he he already has the child support issue okay meaning that he has to pay his child support via the court so he's paying the child support uh, like straight out of his check he doesn't have the opportunity to earn more income because he's been with his company and as we all know when we were employees the company is only going to pay what they feel uh, the position is worth no matter how valuable you believe that you are all right so he's been there unwilling to increase income so what's happening He's paying mortgage, he's paying the child support, he's paying uh, homeowner's insurance, he's paying uh, car insurance, car note, utilities for the home. There is no more money. Now, when Cherie is trying to do the little things that, that she's trying to do to help herself in business, well, she's now having to rely on, well, if I get some customers, if I, you know, if I make some money, you can't really depend on the husband because he's carrying the brunt of the household. So this is understandable. So now how do we get out? Here's where the bad credit comes in. The gentleman already had bad credit. He came with bad credit for whatever his reason. And how many of us know that when you adjoin yourself to someone legally, whatever's going on with them is going on with you. If they've got bad credit, mysteriously now, for some reason, I don't know how this happens, that bad credit now gets on your credit report. How does this happen, people? I want all of the secured entrepreneurs in this community, in this movement, who do this personal credit thing to chime in because she's saying, I don't know how all these things got on my report. I was suggesting that he added her to cards. I really don't know. She's saying, I don't recall because I never had a card. So we've got a dispute going on and we don't know, uh, or Miss Aurora doesn't know how she got on, how she... Uh, you know, uh, acquired all of his bad debt. All right, now she's saying, I need to do this business because I'm realizing that I need to be home with not only his children when it's time for his children to be here, but our children that we have, which is two additional children inside of the relationship, okay? Now, Miss Aurora, how am I going to do this with bad credit? I have bad credit. Mainly, she feels because the husband has bad credit and she never worked on her own personal credit since they've been in this marriage. Okay, so now here's what Ms. Aurora is going to say to everyone here in the Secured Entrepreneur Movement as it relates to starting a business with bad credit. Hello. This is why you create the correct type of legal entity to separate yourself. Now, we already know that uh, most uh, individuals, most entrepreneurs who are going to come out here and start something are going to rely on their personal credit. They're going to rely on their paycheck. And there's this myth. Um, your job is your first investor. No, it's not. I've put in labor. I've traded dollars for hours, hours for dollars. I've, I've, I've come up in here. I've given my time, my mind, my expertise in exchange 
for the salary that you want to pay me. So no, your job is not your first investor. I'm sorry, Mr. Roar does not feel that way, okay? Next. Now, what's happening is that Cherie is now having to create a true bona fide legal entity to separate herself and her husband so that she can begin to build uh, not only personal credit, but business credit, hello, because she's under the impression that she's not going to be able to get any type of business credit without the personal credit. I'm about to go here. What Cherie is now learning is that once she has her legal entity and is no longer a sole proprietor, she now has access to vendors that will give her company some credit some vendor credit, okay? All of these things take time. Nobody wants to, you know, nobody really wants to take the time to get into this because it's all about, I have to make money now. And you do need to make money now, but can you make money now the right way, okay? So Cherie is now saying, okay, I need to get this vendor credit, okay? And while she is working on that, and working her business, putting her products, putting her services out, okay, and increasing her income, all right, now this is helping the company. Uh, she's building a company. So for all of you uh, who, who email Miss Aurora, and thank you for emailing me, please continue to do that at info at AuroraDayConsulting.com because many of you are saying, I have bad credit, nobody wants to give me anything, I started this business, and I'm trying to get loans from banks, and they're talking about my credit debit ratio, exactly, because you're a sole proprietor. So because you're a sole proprietor, what are they looking at? They're looking at your income, and they're looking at your debt. Anytime you go to get a loan, mortgage, car, it doesn't matter. They're looking at how much income you have versus what kind of debts you are carrying, okay? So, what Cherie is now understanding, and we want everyone here who watches the video and, and is trying to get a business going, but you're saying you, you know that you have bad credit, and part of the issue as to why it is you cannot overcome it why it is you're, you're having an issue in resolving it and fixing it is because you're not increasing your income. You're saying you're barely having enough to, to, to make it, but you understand that working two jobs and trying to raise a family is not the ticket, okay? Please get your legal entity, separate yourself, start building it out, get the credit on that entity, Increase your income, get your business going, okay? And then as, as all of that is happening, now if you need to uh, repay people, if you need to pay people, if you need to, to, to uh, clean, clean the report up, if you need to hire somebody to help you to do that, you need to start working on that because as the company grows, now remember something, this is about generational wealth, right? You have to create a business that either you're gonna sell or you're gonna pass along to the family. And I mean business, this is not, oh, I, I want my grandchildren to stand up in, in this store and be doing all this, you know, because you're still living the 1040 lifestyle, people. That is, that's not what we do here in the Secured Entrepreneur uh, community, okay? We don't live the 1040 lifestyle. We're creating real businesses. We're investing in real businesses. We're investing in real assets that continue to feed us month after month after month so that you don't really have to stress yourself out about what it is you're gonna do. Can I get some place? Can I do these particular things? No, because your business is taking care of you. Ms. Aurora could really go in on this, but I wanted to, to answer Cherie's question in this video today simply because there are several of you who have been uh, emailing throughout this pandemic about how it is you're going to do something when your position was considered non-essential and you were waiting for unemployment and now we understand that the, the extra monies in unemployment uh, are being cut, okay? So now there's several of you who have emailed asking me about how as an entrepreneur you're going to collect unemployment. I'm going to make another video about that because that's a very interesting thing that you all are emailing Miss Aurora about, okay? So now you already know if you're watching here on YouTube, the links to connect with Miss Aurora are down below. If you're watching on Facebook, I think we'll put a link up top or something like that. But 
please know that you can do this and you need to do this right now. Okay, you can find me at auroradayconsulting.com and until next time, ta